ready for your next comedian? This next guy I'm bringing up, he sells out everywhere. I'm gonna tell you a little history right now. Take out your number two pencils. You guys are gonna learn. Him and Gabriel had a challenge. Gabriel went to Mexico and performed in Spanish. Now he's here performing for you guys. His first time in LA doing comedy in English. Keep it going for Franco Escobar. Okay, so this is my first time doing stand up in English. Be careful, be gentle with me. This is not my worst first time, okay? My sexual first time was worst. But I'm confident. At least I'm not paying this time. Actually, this time you're paying. And I know most of you are thinking, no, 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 Franco, we're paying to see again. And I understand. But you have to understand this is like a happy meal, okay? <laughs> Gabriel is a delicious hamburger. And I am the chicken toy man in Mexico. <laughs> so you have to stay with it, okay? <laughs> man, it's hard to be here in LA. It's hard for a Mexican to come to the US, cross the border. I should be doing it legally, you know? <laughs> Sounds easier. Oh yeah, the people on the border, they don't lean to us. You know? They start asking a lot of questions, you know, like, where are you from? Why do you mean? This is Mexico, dude. <laughs> I'm from Canada, I'm okay. <laughs> they keep asking, you know, like, how many days are you going to stay in the U.S.? I don't know. How many can you give me? <laughs> you tell me, I don't know. They ask me, do you have any drugs on you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was so nervous, dude. And my friend said, hey, relax. You, you, you will be okay. And I, I was like, man, I don't know how to speak proper English. I don't want to fuck up the answers, you know? <laughs> Maybe I confess some crime because I can't speak English. He said, no, 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 dude, relax. You will be okay, as long as you don't have any drugs in your butt, it's okay. <laughs> that blew my mind, you know, like, why should I have drugs in my butt? He <laughs> said, you know, some people do it. Why? <laughs> I mean, back in the day, I was, I smoked some weed, but I never put it in my ass. <laughs> you think those are crazy? But <laughs> it's not the same when the, the gringos want to cross over Mexico. We are nice to you. We don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> how many days? How many days you can say whatever the fuck you want? <laughs> you have money, be my guest. When you run out of money, you run out of Mexico. That's the rule. Do you have any drugs on you? In the ring of no? You want some? <laughs> I have a cousin. <laughs> oh, it's great to be here, dude. Uh, the first time I came to LA it was like a tourist, you know? And I, I hired a guy, a tour guide, and he took me to the Walk of Fame. That's nice. I was with my, my two children, you know? My boy and my girl. And I was excited, you know, I took my little girl and I said, Look, mija, this is Cinderella, la Cenicienta Cuera, mira. <laughs> but my daughter is mean, you know, like, that's not Cinderella. Cinderella isn't fat. <laughs> oh, Cinderella get mad. <laughs> you start screaming, you know, like, I'm pregnant, bitch. <laughs> And the Prince Charming doesn't want to take care of me. <laughs> I'm like, come on, honey. Cinderella has some issues. <laughs> I was talking to my kid, you know, like, hey, Mijo, look, it's Captain America. Look, Wolverine. 
time. Oh, look! This is Shaquille O'Neal and David Hart. And the tour guy, shut the fuck up. He's <laughs> just a black guy and he's good. Sorry, my bad. He was scared. He was like, dude, you're gonna beat us up. <laughs> I understand there's a, a big issue down here, the racism. I don't understand racism. You don't need it. You're gringos. You're fine. <laughs> you know what? You should go to Mexico. For we Mexicans, you are all the same. Okay? We don't care the color of your skin. You're a pinchy gringo. It's okay. We never separate you like white gringo, black gringo, no, 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 all gringos. We're not racist. But I kind of feel jealous because when I come to LA the first time, the tour guide said to me, you never said, you never, okay, put attention, you never use the end word. Yeah, I went, okay, which one is the end word? He said, I can't say it. So can you spell it? I said no. Well, tell me which one is the end word? Nincompo? <laughs> Netflix and chill? <laughs> he just said to me, no, don't say it. That's it. Okay? And I feel jealous because when it comes to black people, we all care about them. But when it comes to Mexicans, people don't give a fuck. I've been calling dinner by a U.S. Marshal. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I don't care. I don't get offended. I love beans. <laughs> beans are my best friends. Yeah, I don't get offended. <laughs> you been there? Damn right. <laughs> but maybe we Latinos, just for the fuck of it. We start complaining. Hey, don't call us like that. Yeah. Use the B word. <laughs> Just for messing with it, you know. Use the B word with Mexicans, and maybe we Mexicans call each other Dina. Sounds nice, no? Yo, no, Dina. <laughs> Crazy ass Dina. <laughs> Dina, please. I have to apologize if my English is not good. I never did, I never have proper lessons, okay? I learned English watching American movies. Yeah, Hollywood movies. So if my English sucks, it's your fault. <laughs> Stop making shitty movies. <laughs> I love Hollywood movies. Horror movies are my favorite. But uh, yeah. You know, like the Jason, the Halloween, etc. No sé cómo se dice etc. en inglés. All that kind of movies, I love it. <laughs> But I was mad because there's no Mexicans in horror movies. And like a lead part, you know, I mean, yes, they are a Mexican. And the first five minutes of the film, you know, we all was the same part. The, Cool guy, <laughs> the barber, the rich cardinero. And I used to think that was racist, but it's not. You know, there's no Mexicans in horror movies because horror movies have roots, okay? First rule, Jason has to kill five people in one house. That's impossible with Mexicans. <laughs> I dare you to find one house with only five Mexicans. As soon as Jason opened the door, there's gonna be like a 15 Cholos. Oh, you came to the wrong house, motherfucker. <laughs> This is gonna be sweet. <laughs> there's a lot of rule because Jason kills all the people one by one. We Mexicans, we are smart. We run. <laughs> oh, there's Jason. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> But Jason killed one of your friends. His fault. <laughs> Too slow. 
<risa> Mañana hay que más corrido, tonight I'm hard to run. Why people get killed in horror movies? Because they're curious, yeah? You know? like, they're seeing Jason killing people. In... What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Frank Escamilla, his new American name.